Someone asked me, what is your favorite code block in Scratch? And it's a little surprising. Check this out. In the sensing menu, there is a code block that says backdrop number of stage. And most beginners will see that and be like, well, I don't care what the backdrop number of the stage is. And then you have these drop downs. Well, there's nothing else in there. Or is there? Now, this code block doesn't work correctly unless there's another sprite in the game. So let's go ahead and add another sprite. Let's add a beetle. Yeah, the beetles. I love the beetles. Oh, this is just the bug. Okay, so there's two sprites in the game. Now, let's say this cat wants to interact with the beetle. Now, this is the code block that will allow it to do that. Why? Because instead of the stage, we'll select beetle. There we go. Now we know the X position, the Y position, the direction that the beetle is facing. This is pretty cool. I actually, as the cat, know what the beetle is basically doing. So let's look at the direction. So what is the value of the direction of the beetle? In order to see this, we're going to have to create a variable. Here we go. So my variable already exists. So let's set my variable to this block right here, just so we can see the value right now. And let's put a start flag on that. So whenever the game starts there. So the beetle is in direction 90. Pretty cool, huh? Now, what happens if we just, ah, for fun, let's just turn the beetle. I'm going to use the direction right here. Oh, you can actually drag it. There you go. I'm going to turn, turn it there. Okay, the cat will never know what direction we're facing in. Oh, yeah, the cat knows it's negative 145.044932. <laughs> wow. Anyways, now your sprites can know what the other sprites are doing, and that's pretty cool.